I don't work at a post office. I don't know anybody who does work at a post office. Would I want to work at a post office? No. No. But here's what I do know about the post office. What they do is they take in packages um, and ship them out to the recipient of the package. Seems simple enough, yet time and time again, it just seems that I'm disappointed in the United States Postal Service. <sighs> and it happened again. I was expecting to get an awesome NES package today. Fucker didn't come. Anyway, so I'm disappointed in the USPS about that. Because now, tomorrow's Sunday. Everybody knows those lazy pricks don't, don't, deli <laughs> don't deliver on Sundays. What's after Sunday? Monday. Oh, they deliver on Monday. Oh, but not this Monday because it's the 4th of July. Which means Tuesday. Ah, okay. <laughs> Three days. Because it didn't come Saturday, I then have to wait three days to get it. Ugh, damn it. But, I digress. Because, in that awesome NES packages place, I have some grand trade stuff and a pretty sweet pickups video. Uh, some pretty sweet pickups I got today. Well, let's get into the trade video. Um... Yeah, so trade video. Did a trade with a guy on the YouTube who uh, goes by the name of Cyrus649. Um, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description, and uh, you can check out his channel. Real nice guy. Um, highly recommend his channel. Um, so we did a trade. Uh, I believe he contacted me about doing a trade, I believe. Maybe it was me. I f damn, we, we, we just, we talked so much since then uh, that I don't even know. Oh, you know what? I think I initiated him because he watched my, um, how to tell if you have a Famicom adapter in your NES cartridge. And he, he heard me mention a game and he had the game. And that's when the spark was ignited. And, uh, you know, the flame was ever lit for our trade. Um, so anyway, let's get into it. Um, you'll have to check out his channel to see what I got or what I gave to him. Um, because I know the video is up, I've already seen it. Um, but he traded me four NES games and a box and manual to a Super Nintendo game. So, um, I'm always really anxious to get boxes and manuals to complete my games, so I really appreciate him, uh, doing that for me. Alright, so let's get into this. First off, the four NES games. All pretty good games, from what I know. Although I've never played any of them. Um, although I'm pretty sure because of the name... Of the uh, company that made this game is going to be good. That's Gradius, made by the one and only Konami. One of my favorite game developers of the 80s and 90s. And still now, they're chugging out a few good ones. I've been playing that Castlevania Lords of Shadow for the uh, 360 uh, quite a bit lately. And uh, it's a good time. The game's a good time. Um, anyways, the uh, next one is Mighty Bomb Jack. Now, few weeks ago, or about a week ago or so, uh, my buddy went to a garage sale and got to all those NES games for a dollar. Well, for some reason, when he came back, he had the Mighty Bomb Jack manual, and then this thing, it's like a map for the game. Um, so now I have the game, and then the manual and the map. So, pretty stoked about getting that. And um, then these next two are ones that really caught my eye. Um, the one that he, sorry about that, but the one he originally um, contacted me about having is this game here, and it's Wrecking Crew. Now, he told me the label was in fair shape, um, but it's not bad. It's a little scratched, and the uh, like the thin plastic layer sticker that goes over is a little little ruffled in places. Um, but, you know, this isn't necessarily a game you find everywhere, although it's not rare, I don't believe. Um, so I'm pretty happy to get this, um, and that's one I'm uh, pretty anxious to play. And it's a Mario game, which is pretty cool. And then this last one was kind of like the like the, the icing on the cake. Bomberman, NES. 
Ching. Um, he said this is one of his favorite games, um, and I've never played this version, but um, hopefully it is good. I'm sure it will be, because all the other Bombermans are good. So Bomberman on the NES. So those are the four NES games, and then the box and manual he gave me is something that I was extremely excited about because uh, it completes one of my favorite Super Nintendo games. Uh, and that game is Super Bomberman 2. Um, one of my favorite games. It's, it's this, ga this game, this is one of the games that, like, these are the kind of games that you hope to get for a system. This is the kind of game that you can just pop in and play whenever. It's just like a Ninja Turtles 4 or a, or a uh, Contra or a Castlevania. It's just like one of those. You can just pop that sucker in and, and play for hours on end and uh, never be tiresome. Okay, so that's it for the trade video. Again, check out Cyrus649. Uh, great guy. High re highly recommend his channel. Um, so, I've been trying to expand my NES collection as of late. So, at the game store today, I picked up two NES games. And then, a Super NES game I just I just couldn't walk away from today. I've seen it in there millions of times, but today, it just struck me. It's like, you know what? I've got the money for this game. I'm going to go ahead and pick up this beast. And from what I hear, it's not very good from some people, um, but I, I, I'm sure I'll like it. Um, but anyway, the first, the two NES games, the first one is, uh, they're both black box games, which is cool, because that expands my collection of those. Um, the first one is Wild Gunman. <coughs> um, now, Wild Gunman is a uh, light gun game, so I believe I have three of the light gun games. I have Duck Hunt, of course, um, Hogan's Alley, and then this. I'm sure there are more black box games. Um, oh, Gumshoe. I have Gumshoe, too. I, I don't know if there's any more black box um, light gun games or not, but I've got to have close to all of them. Uh, and then this next one is one that I've always heard great things about, um, and finally decided to get it in absolutely astonishing shape, too. Um, it's Popeye on the NES. Um, never played this, just seen a little gameplay footage, but uh, from what I hear, it is pretty astounding. So, uh, pretty happy to have those. And then, the Super NES game I couldn't walk away from. Uh, well, first, before I do that, let me just show you what I got. Um, he has, like, a little thing full of, like, manuals and stuff. And uh, there was a poster in there for a rare NES, Super NES game. So I picked it up. It was only a dollar. And it's uh, the map for Final Fantasy III. Now, I don't have Final Fantasy III. Um, I sort of picked this up as something maybe I could sell or use as a, uh, on a trade. So if somebody's interested in this, let me know. Uh, otherwise, I'll probably sell it online, assuming it sells for anything. I really don't know. Uh, but keeping with the Final Fantasy theme, hint to hint, the box, or the, sorry, excuse me, the Super Nintendo game that I got today is a Final Fantasy game. It's the un most common, it's the most common of the three on the Super NES, but I'm still happy to have it. And it's Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, box complete, um, it's even got the map in there, um, it's in pretty good shape. There's a little wear in the edges, but, uh, nonetheless, anyway, nonetheless, I am, uh, pretty excited to get that. Now, I've heard that that game's, uh, not the best, and I wouldn't expect it to be better than 2 and 3, um, but, you know, what are you gonna do? It's, uh, I'm sure it'll be, uh, enjoyable anyway, although I've got some other games to finish. I mean, I gotta finish Duke Nukem Forever. And then Castlevania, Lords of Shadow. It's, you know, I've got my hands full as it is. I should probably really quit picking these games up. Because I know I'll never get finished with my other stuff. Uh, whatever, though. Uh, so that's it. That's all I got this time. When I get that damn eBay package in the mail Tuesday, I'll be definitely making a video. Because it's a pretty rare NES game. And I'm really happy to have it. And uh, it sort of completes a mini collection. Uh, that I've got going on. So uh, we will go ahead and end the video here. And thanks for watching, guys.